Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Adam's Fly Box. Today, I'm going to be covering my favorite fall trout patterns. So, it's kind of strange. I was I was looking up the dates uh, on New Jersey's fish game and wildlife when they do trout stockings for the uh, upcoming fall stockings, and I actually stumbled across my picture on New Jersey's fish and wildlife website. This was many years ago too, because this was before I had uh, gotten injured, and I actually had to take a double look because I was looking I was looking at a handsome chubby fellow standing on a boulder in my favorite stream in New Jersey. And I'm like, my God, that guy looks familiar. That guy was me from 2015. And I just stumbled across this picture last week. Kind of crazy. At any rate, I would uh, like to review some of the flies that over many years I've tied. And normally when I do tutorials, I am upstairs in my recliner and I do the tutorials there. But today, this is my fly tying bench. I bought this when I was, I believe, in grammar school with my newspaper route money. I don't think kids deliver newspapers anymore. I think they probably have to drive their bicycle and deliver the internet somehow. Hopefully, I will be able to take some of these flies that I'm doing tutorials on out actually with an energy client in the upcoming months in the great state of Pennsylvania. I've been fly fishing in PA since at least I was in high school. Absolutely love that state. It's uh, phenomenal, beautiful rivers and streams. While I've engineered many, many thousands of flies I've tied here commercially for a fly shop I guided at, I figured today I would sit down and just review some of this stuff. So first real quick, just because I thought it was pretty funny. This is New Jersey's fish and game site. That handsome fellow right there is me from 2015. As I mentioned earlier, I was looking at the picture for the stocking dates and I'm looking and I'm like, my God, that whole picture looks familiar. Man, that guy's a uh, kind of handsome, chubby looking dude. That's me. What the heck? Yeah, I just thought it was kind of funny uh, and figured I would show you guys somehow I made New Jersey's fishing and wildlife website. At any rate, the flies I'm going to cover today are my favorite fall flies. So these flies right here are primarily my go my go-to flies in the fall. Some of them you'll know obviously I've done woolly bugger tutorials everybody knows the woolly bugger. This right here is actually kind of like a zonkers I designed but with this fly I tied um, a rattle in it and mylar tubing over it. This fly is a, a smashes big fish it's just early morning late evening it's a big fish fly now they're always in the water whether you know, you're know fishing a bugger and it's representing a, a minnow or a leech they're always in the water that's one of the reasons why I, I like to fish this selection of flies right here this is a crayfish pattern which I kind of engineered and designed this is a, a great pattern to dead drift or just to fire it out under a log or you know behind a boulder and twitch it back. Very, very effective year round. It's a great fall fly. Scuds, freshwater shrimp. These guys are always in the water year round. Uh, very good to fish in the spring. They're great to fish in, in the fall as well. And this little guy right here, this is what I call a Mac Chucker. And this is a blue and olive that I tied with uh, my old gray cat. He was more like a dog and really didn't care if I used the buzzer on the top of his head. And he had great fur. So I was looking at him and I'm like, you have phenomenal gray fur for uh, blue and olives. I used his hair along with uh, Chucker. My Labradors had flushed out and retrieved uh, while we were hunting and it's an extremely effective fly the mickey finn this is a, a great early spring and fall fly uh, especially for brookies uh, this is just a, a knock em up fly for brook trout which i will be doing a tutorial on this fly when i can get to it and this stone fly right here is a, a stone fly that i designed and engineered years ago i've caught trout and salmon in the east and in alaska it absolutely murders fish it's just like a giant steak floating downstream and 
it's phenomenal, especially for wild and, and holdover trout. Uh, when they see that, they, they absolutely smack it. They hit it so hard, the strike indicator a lot of times will just like shoot upstream. So these are these are my go-to flies for the fall. And here's a pheasant tail nymph as well. They're they're usually in the water. If not, they're they'll still hit that fly. But these are the flies that I usually will will fish in the fall and uh, have had extremely good results over the years. Um, and I can just show you really quickly. So if a fly had a resume, this would be it. This is the stone fly that I just showed you. And this stone fly has caught a ton of fish. I mean, if you look at, at the stone fly, it's just a giant meal. These flies uh, caught uh, so many fish, and the majority of them actually were in Pennsylvania. They just uh, had to retire them. Uh, they were game over, chewed up, and time to move on. And this right here is actually sort of like a stimulator pattern. It's the adult version of the stonefly. This right here is a pattern I engineered looking at, you know, the stonefly, looking at other flies that were out. It really is phenomenal and used for like a hopper dropper or something of that situation. This guy right here, I'm not really sure how well you can see it, but this is a Helgramite, nasty looking little bugger. But uh, the, the fish absolutely love them. And here's another crayfish over here. Those are the flies that I go to and I'll pull out of my box, you know, when I get a chance to get out in the fall. Hopefully in the upcoming uh, months, I'll be catching up with uh, an energy client and, and friend of mine. We're going to be fishing in Pennsylvania. Hopefully I'll be able to do some fishing tutorial and, and get out and show you how to use some of these flies extremely effectively. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be, as I mentioned, uh, doing the Mickey Finn uh, tutorial soon. And I will get that out to you. And uh, that's a great fall and uh, pattern. It's also a good spring pattern, uh, high water, very flashy attractor pattern. It really does very well. And as I mentioned, the brook trout love it. Uh, rainbows do pretty well with it too, as well as salmon. It's just one of those one of those flies that's super flashy, and you know it kind of irritates them, and they just they just grab it. But thank you again very much. We'll catch up with you guys down the road. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Tight lines, screaming reels.